Hey, hi, what was I doing? Oh my God, I'm fascinated by circles, heads, whatever say you. This is a circle and you can see in this figure here, lots of concentric circles and the circle gets smaller here. You know what? This was my tool in drawing my circle. The other day I used that pen, today I use this. Well, we've got to be innovative in what we use in drawing circles. Unless you're an expert, you've got a steady hand. Right, now what about circular measure that plays a vital role in learning about circles and properties? Right, we want to find out. Now, we talk about in a circle, I told you about a chord. A chord divides a circle into segments but if we have a radius and this would divide the circle into a sector and this is called a minor sector right and a minor sector and that's called a major sector now my dear now a sector has got an angle made by two radius right you were wondering what I was doing. I have not got over this over my head. <laughs> all right. Now sometimes you gotta play with objects and make meds more alive. All right. Okay. This is a sector, and the sector is bounded by the radius, both radius, this angle theta, and the arc length. What we call this arc length. Now the arc length, if it's a whole circle, my dear, if it's a whole circle, we call that circumference, circumference, all right? But when it's part of a circle, it's arc length. And it's the same as finding out the length of this whole thing. What's the length? And in fact, I could use any cloth. If I were to use this dirty cloth here, never mind. I'm just going to be, I want to find out what's the length of this arc. I take the start here, I move around it, I move and I move and I say, hey, this arc length is a length from here, from this length to this length. I could use a string, but I don't have a string right now here. All right, so arc length, circumference is just the length of the whole circle. Now, if we want to find out what is the arc length, well, it is a fraction of a circumference, all right? So arc length equals to angle. And if the angle is measured in degrees, all right? For example, if this is 100 degrees, it's 100 out of 360 degrees. It's a fraction of a whole circle called 2 pi r, where r is the radius of this circle. Got it? And so this is actually when the angle is measured in degrees. Now, if it's theta, let's put theta degrees. If it's in degrees, all right, if it's in degree, theta degree, over 360 degrees times 2 pi r, all right, if it's in degree. Now, if we talk about sector, all right, area of this whole sector, well, what will it be? Well, the area will be equal to an angle. The angle that you're talking about, if it's 100 degrees again, 100 over 360 degrees times pi r squared. It's a fraction of a circle and it should not be a headache to you. Ah, how do you get the area of a circle? What's the area of a sector? Please help me. Well, my dear baby, you learnt it when you were in primary four, all right? Area of a circle or maybe primary five. So now that you are uh, in the high school or you're in the secondary school, this should flow. Area of a circle is pi r squared. And if it's a sector, it's a part, it's a fraction of that circle. If it's 90 degrees, all right? If I wanted a quarter of a circle, then you could see it's 90 over 360 degrees times pi r squared. Cancel this off 
9 over 36 is 1 over 4. So you get a quarter pi r squared. Now this is using, these formulas are using degree. Alright? What happens if the angles are given in radian? I said the angles can be measured in degrees and radian. Alright? Radian is another form of measurement. I'm going to teach you how to derive that formula, that very special formula. So today, my dear friends, our focus will be on the area of the sector, arc length, and how to convert radian to degrees and degrees to radian, which is the fundamental knowledge to proceed to these. But I think I did mention them in my earlier, vi in my earlier video lessons, and practice sessions, if you looked at it, my teaching techniques, all right, you would have seen it very clearly, but I'll reiterate again how you change degree to radian. Now, if I have a degree, just take note, a degree to radian. Degree to radian. 360 degrees, all right, is 2 pi. But if I take 180 degrees, it's pi, pi radian. But if I want 40 degrees, how many radian is that? Or 60 degrees? I always find for 1 degree, and 1 degree will be less. It's pi over 180. The unknown here is the de radian. The given is the degree. So 1 degree is this. 60 degrees will be pi over 180 times 60, tat tat. Cancel this two, you get a pi over three radian. Got it? So it shouldn't be really a problem. And similarly, if we were to do from radian to degree, you would do the same thing. All right? If I have like, um, if I would say pi over three, how radian is how many degrees, you wonder. All right? So we start off from the starting point, which is A. Pi, you're 180 degrees. One radian, you are 180 over pi because it's less. It's a direct proportion. And if it's pi over 3, put it in 180 over pi times. It's more. You multiply pi over 3. Dun -dun. Cancel, you get 60 degrees. So you could see that pi over 3 radian is equal to 60 degrees. Now, this is really important for you when you do your circular measure. Now, let's look at a few things, how we derive formulas. Now, if I've got the center of a circle, and this is the radius, and this is theta in radian, and this is the angle of this r, r, and this is the arc length, the arc length. We want to find out what is the arc length, L, alright? And we also want to find out what is the area of the sector, okay? So it's a very simple explanation on how you get the formula. So be with me, please. Very simple proportion, alright? Theta over 2 pi, alright? The proportion of the angle. All right, that gives you the fraction, is equal to the area of that sector over the area 2 pi will give you the whole area of the whole circle. So that's pi r squared, area over area. And so what's the area of the sector equals to then? Bring the pi r squared up. When you bring it up and you divide it by 2 pi, doom, doom, 1 over 2, all right? Okay, you get 1 over 2. R squared theta is your area. Half R squared theta. Now, I know you saw theta there. Theta, theta R squared over 2. You know, very funny in maths. The shorter number, the sh and R is smaller. Theta is so tall. Please stand behind. It's just an order of arrangement. And half. You can write it as r squared theta over 2 because the 1 is just understood. So that will be the area of the sector. Got it? 
It's very simple. Angle over angle equal to area over area. And how do you get that formula? And this unit must be in radian. Very important. If it's in radian, this has to be in radian too. Please take note. All right. Now from there, we've got that and we could easily work that out. Even if it was in degree, let's put here 100 degrees over 360 degrees equals to area over pi r squared. If you look at the formula, you bring the pi r squared up, you get 100 over 360 times pi r squared. Do you see that connection that I got here, the angle? They're the same, not very different, right? So I just want to show you whether you write it in degree, whether you write it in radian, you must be careful how you go about it. Is a degree with a radian? No, 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 no. All right, take note of that. So please get that here. But at your level, all right, you're expected to do in radian. You are expected, got it. It's just another thing that you got to know. So the area of a sector equals to angle over angle, both in radian, area of sector over pi r squared. Bring that pi r squared up, pi and pi, pi by, cancel them off, division. 1 over 2 r squared theta is the area of the sector. Now we come, so if I have theta here, that's your angle, and this is r, this is r. The area of this sector, all right, the area of this place will be equals to a, equals to half r squared theta. Got it. Now, what about arc length? Arc length is the length from here to here. Hey, how long are you? We want to find out. So the same thing works, right? If it is in angle, theta, let's look at it. Theta over 2 pi. 2 pi, pi is 180 degrees. 2 pi is 360. So a whole circle for the whole length of 2 pi r is 2 pi, all right? I didn't just, we just don't put numbers like that. There must be a meaning, a connection of ideas. Now this theta corresponds to this length, arc length L. So we put it as L and 2 pi is this whole angle, which is the length of this whole circle, which is 2 pi r. Well, the arc length will be theta over 2 pi times 2 pi r. Got it? Do, do, bye bye, bye bye. All right? Say that. Bye bye, bye bye. Because you're dividing, you cancel them off. And what's left? Theta r. Who's so tall, theta? Do you like theta blocking r? We just rearrange it. R, theta. Even in maths, there's such a thing called order, respect, height, tall ones at the back, short ones in front. Normally you don't put B, A, you always say A, B. A was born first before B, isn't it? You, it's, it's just a common thing. You don't say Z, Y, X. What do you say? X, Y, Z. So it's just a respect, whichever came first. I presume, that's my assumption I made. And I see it a practice that all mathematicians in books, they do. So I tell myself, ah, even in maths, there's a code of respect. My dear, remember that. It's practiced everywhere. Respect. Respect for formulas. Respect for ordering. So the arc length equals to r theta. You got it? Angle over angle. Length over length. You, I will be shocked if you put L over pi r squared. Does it make sense? Length over area? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just tell yourself, wake up. All right? So it should be length over length. Angle over angle. Just like what we did. If you don't mind, if I set this angle, if I set A, 100 degrees over 360 degrees, equals the arc length over 2 pi r. We want to find the arc length. You bring the 2 pi r up. Okay, it's 100. I should have cancelled that. I just wanted to show you the connection. Bring this 2 pi r up. Alright, and that's your arc length. You see, I've got that arc length here. 
Look at that. It's a fraction of the length of the whole circle. So it makes a lot of meaning to you. I want you to learn maths, understanding the birth of the formula. The birth. Remember the birth means what? How it arose. Do you know about your birth? How you? It's the birth. How it all happened. All right. How do you come to this earth? You know. Okay, your mom and dad are there. All right. So it's a legal born, and there you are. Similarly, there is a legal connection. There is a logic. There's a reason. This world is made of that. All right. So find the connectivity. Angle over angle. Length over length. Bring a two pi r, and you get your l r theta. Now I just like to bring you again back to circular measure. You would find circular measure a very easy thing right now. Circular measure will help you to find segments, sectors, whether major, minor, whatever shapes that we're going to do. All right, take again what we did: area of sector. How do we get that? Uh, area of sector, angle over angle, right? Theta over two pi. We talk about radian. Area over area. This corresponds to the angle theta. That's the area. This corresponds two pi. Corresponds to pi r square. The whole circle. All right. Because two pi is three sixty. Bring that over, and then you cancel it. You get half r square theta. And this is done when theta is in radian. Please take note of that. Not in degree. Similarly, arc length. What is arc length? It is angle over angle, and you get a length over two pi r. All right. From here, bring your two pi r up, and you can cancel off the two and the pi. You get a r theta. So your arc length L equals to r theta. It's really simple. All right. Your arc length L. Is equal to r theta. Please take note. L equals to r theta. Area equals to half r squared theta. All right. Radian to degree. Very simple. Pi. Hey, you are equal to 180 degrees. Similarly, 180 degrees is pi. A simple logical reasoning. So you see how simple circular measure can be, and I'm now going to go into some worked examples in showing you how we can do more sums before we get to practice. Right, take a toilet break, and I'll see you shortly.